Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and this video is going to show you how to create a set for your clients in the back end of our Vend photo cart. So you're going to go ahead and log into your Vend back end, and you're going to click your Sets tab at the top. And the first thing you're going to see is on the panel on the left are all the sets that we've created. And you are going to be able to click on any of the ones that you've created, and all the information will display in the right panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these and kind of tell you what each of the features are in these tabs. So we're going to start with the settings tab and the first option is to add a password so if you wanted to add a password to a specific set you can very quickly just type in the password here and you click save and it would go ahead and add the password you'll notice that if you come to the gallery wall of our vent photo cart some of them say view gallery some of them say login and view gallery and the ones that say login are going to require a password so if I were to click on that it says password required and they can type the password in right here if you go back to the Venn cart, you'll also notice that you'll see the date and time um, for expiration. So you can actually go ahead and click assign a date and time. And if you assign a date and time, the, the cart will expire as far as people being able to access it, but it won't go away. So if you set limits on on the time that your clients can order to try and like push the push the sale you can always extend it if you need to you'll notice that we have our our ex expired carts in here um, and you can see that they're here but there are options in in the setup where you can remove any expired carts from the wall so that um, they don't clog up your wall so if you wanted to set an expiration you could if not just go ahead and leave that unchecked um, you're also going to notice that as far as pricing goes for this specific set, let's say it's a bride, um, I have my a la carte group and I can go ahead and choose from my pricing that I've set up in a, in a previous video uh, through our pricing tab which a la carte uh, client it is. So it could either be the wedding, it could be the boudoir, it could be the portrait, and you can choose which client it is uh, for your a la carte pricing. You can also choose for your paper groups and your modifiers. And when you set up your packages, you can do the same. So your packaging and your products. So you can choose from these drop downs and you can go ahead and uh, assign them and associate them to this specific set for this client. And now we're going to go ahead and start talking about some of the options that are on the sidebar. And the sidebar is, uh, I'm going to show you by, whoop, let me go ahead and log into, let me go ahead and log into one of these galleries and we're going to click on an image and it's going to be in the photo cart area where you have a sidebar and these options most of them can be turned on and off so we're going to go ahead and go through these and so the first one is enable quantity selection so the enable quantity selection is right here if you don't want people to be able to add quantities if you're doing something a little different you can go ahead and turn that off um, the second one is enable color options right in here we have our color options for black and white and sepia and you can turn those off if you don't want to offer them um, there's also the cropping tool and if somebody comes in here and they select a 4x6 and they want it to be portrait you can see that this cropping tool is going to allow them to move this around so that they can decide where the crop is well some of our photographers like that and some of them don't want their clients to have that kind of flexibility so you can go ahead and just turn that cropping tool off, tool off if you like by clicking the false you can also turn on and off the ability for your clients to leave a comment. So at the very bottom here on the toolbar, you can turn this comment off. And if you want it on, then the clients will be able to actually send you a comment that will be associated with the image that they're purchasing. <clears throat> now, as far as music goes, you can either use the global soundtrack, you can have no music, or you can add a specific soundtrack to this specific set. So if you were to use the global soundtrack, it'd be in the global area and uh, under this tab you'd be able to click global soundtrack and you'd be able to upload mp3s to this area that then you can associate to every set you want so it reduces redundancy of uploading a ton of mp3s so we're going to go ahead and go back to our sets and um, if you wanted to add a soundtrack just for the specific client so let's say it was a bride that has a specific wedding song you can go ahead and click the tracks tab here and just upload the mp3 specifically to this set so I'm going to go back to the soundtrack and if I, if I use, use this tracks tab right here then I want to turn off my global soundtrack by, by clicking false. Now this specific set I've went ahead and, and I've included it on the gallery wall and I've added an image. I've also pinned it to the top of the gallery wall. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and, and go back to our gallery wall and show you uh, where that sits. 
if you don't pin it to the gallery wall and you add more, it's just going to uh, naturally move down. But this is nice if you have a, um, a set that you want to pin to the top so people can find it right away. And that's really good for examples if you want people to see, you know, kind of portfolios and, um, and, and kind of see what, what it looks like. You can always keep that pinned to the top as a sample. Now, uh, one, of you, one of your last options in this, in this set is uh, to enable watermarking. And in a previous video under the setup tab, we, and we added all our watermarking stuff. And so if we want to enable the watermarking on these photos for this specific set, you can go ahead and just click true and uh, your watermarkings will, will work. <clears throat> the last thing that you're going to want to see in here is the contact list. And the contact list is a, is a way to communicate with your clients. So for this specific client, you would go ahead and add all the emails in a comma separated way. So it would be the bride's email comma, the groom's email comma, maybe the mom and dad, whoever it is. So anybody that you want to send notifications to, you can go ahead and put them in right here. And we're going to get to that when we go to the output tab and you'll see how that's going to be useful later. So this is just your general uh, settings for your your client that you're setting up right now. This is the images uh, tab and you you can see all the images in here. If you want to upload images directly in here, you can go ahead and just add files from your computer. You can grab these, open them up, and you'll see that it's going through the checklist and when they go green, it means they've been uploaded and when they're all done, you can just go ahead and click done and they'll be in, in the list here. Um, now this is our basic setup and I'm going to show you a little bit how to upload images later, um, but this is the uncategorized, everything's in, in, in just the one cart category and, um, and if you wanted to learn how to do categorized uploads, you're, you can watch the video that we have um, that requires you to organize them and upload them via FTP, which is a really fast way to get a ton of images up and running. So in this one I think we have a little bit over 300 images in this cart. So I'll come back to that in a little bit but I want you to see that you can go ahead and sort your images uh, and so you have this sort button right here and if I were to come down and look through all my images and I wanted to start moving around uh, some of my images I can go ahead and pick an image and I can go ahead and move it and if I wanted to move a few images at a time I can go ahead and I can hold uh, the shift button down and then drag these over to wherever it is that I wanted to move them and I can start shifting things around. So if you need to if you need to kind of sort them really quick you can. If you sorted them numerically uh, or, or alphabetically you can come in here and click the A to Z or the Z to A or you can have it just shift them randomly into place. So um, you have a couple of options with that. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. We covered the tracks where you can, the tracks tab where you can upload MP3s, and now I want to kind of go over discounts a bit. <clears throat> so, our system has the ability for you to offer discounts to your clients. Uh, I'm going to make a discount code right now, and the discount code could be whatever it is that you want, as long as it doesn't uh, clash with another one, so you can't have the same discount code um, do two different things. So, if I have a Smith discount code, I can't make another Smith discount code that does something else. So, let's say I'm going to make the Smith discount code for for my clients. Um, I can go ahead and type in the code right there and I have some options. I could either make it a percentage of the total, so I could make it let's say 15% off of, of the order and I can only allow them to use it once before it expires and I can make sure that um, that it has an expiration date too. So I can make them use it once or I can assign an expiration date and say um, you know you have to use it by this date. So you have that option there. And then you can also say, you know what, I want you to only use the 15% if you order $500 worth of, uh, worth of product. So once they hit that $500 mark, then they can go ahead and use the 15%, which encourages them to actually purchase more. And then I would click Create Discount Code, and it would land there. You have another option with discount code, so I'm going to click this and edit it. And the other option would be to subtract an exact amount. So this is a code that's that acts somewhat as a like a credit. So I may want to um, have this be $100 exactly, and they get to use it once. And um, but they have to order a thousand dollars worth of product, or there is no minimum. So if they were to order a hundred dollars worth of product, they would essentially be getting it for free. So it acts somewhat as a credit system, and then you would go ahead and click save. So that's how how you set up your discount codes. You also have the ability to set up your discount codes in your global. So if you just want to create discount codes, um, ten percent off, twenty percent off, thirty percent off, um, you can go ahead and do that 
right in here and then you can apply them to everybody so you might have a, a general 10 percent off for everybody and you add that right in here and then you can use it for for everybody at any time uh, let's go ahead and go back to our sets and cover the output tab so the um we we have in here um the output tab and the sessions tab i'm going to click on the output tab first the output tab is really great for keeping in touch with your clients and sending them information like, hey, here's your, here's your photo card. So we have a couple different options for the output tab and the most, I think, uh, popular one is the bulk email. So on the bulk email, I can uh, go ahead and send um, everybody from that list that I had in the settings tab that I told you we'd come back to this contact list. I can go ahead and include them in my contact list <coughs> and include, um, my session list which we'll come back to there's a, there's a session area over here and these are all the people that logged in so all the emails that we've captured from there we can go ahead and and uh, include that so we have some some subject drop downs here we have uh, new gallery ready notification uh, expiration reminder and general message so I might just want to say um, hey this is a new gallery so there would be nobody in the sessions yet and um, you know there's a new gallery come check it out um, I'm sorry, this is the email area if I wanted to add more emails, but this could be the message area. And then I can send a bulk message. I could also remind people when their, when their set's going to expire. So if I want to come in here and make sure that I remind people that the set's going to expire, um, I can do that right through here. And then we also have just kind of a, a general message. So you can bulk email and just kind of keep everybody informed. This includes sessions list. We're going we're gonna to start talking about this in a minute. Um, and we'll come back to that. But in here you have a few other options where if you need to find the link that's directly to the set we just created, you can come click copy direct link and you can just copy the clipboard which is like uh, hitting copy on your keyboard and then you can paste it in an email or you can paste it into the browser so you can go directly to it or whatever you need that for. You can always find the link specifically to the set right there. And then you have the ability to post to Facebook and post to Twitter. So I can click share this on Facebook or I can click uh, send to Twitter and it'll actually create a link that goes out to your social networking group. So if there's something that you want to share with everybody, you can do that right in here. And now we have the sessions tab and the sessions tab is everybody that's logged in and this list um, is really useful if you know that people have logged in and maybe they're not purchasing and you can kind of see what they're what they're ordering what their order card is valued at at this point and you can even click and assume the user so you can come in here and assume that user's profile and kind of see what um, what they've ordered and you know what's in their cart and you know if they're having a question or an issue you can just kind of assume it's it's not like it's a live feed but you can get an idea of what what they're ordering and what they're interested in you could also email the user um, or delete the user <clears throat> and uh, and that essentially is the settings the um, the the sets tab tabs in, in a nutshell and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and create a new client so I'm just gonna go ahead and click new and I'm going to uh, type in a title here and this is going to be my my test and I would type in the client's name like the Smith family and for this specific uh, demo I'm going to show you a single category um, which is we call the basic so I'm going to click basic and I'm going to click uh, create set and now you're going to find that in the list and I'm going to click on this and you know what all these options are but I'm going to show you that if I click images and I click upload and add for my computer I can just grab the images that I've already cropped and saved web ready and have all ready to go and go ahead and click open and it's going to run through and it's going to go ahead and add the images and essentially you can just grab as grab the all the images that you want to dump in there in one shot and just upload them all again if you want to do a, a set that has categories that's going to be another video I hope that this video is informative and kind of gets you started and gives you a good understanding of what's going on and how to create a set for a specific client. And if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact us through support at intothedarkroom.com, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks again.